A te Wait a minute. I was gonna call that a telegraph machine. That is not a telegraph machine. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Conarium. I hope you liked the first episode because we're jumping right back into this game. What kind of fanciness do we have here? Why is there a tree out here in the Arctic? Whoa. Somehow I think this is mildly historically inaccurate. Can I go in here? I can. This is... This is kind of pretty, actually. Glossopterus? What is that? Huh. Biology lab. Am I gonna see some freaky experiments in here? Stop hitting the wrong button. Although, keep the light on. Oh, somebody got into the good stuff. Oh, I see. It all makes sense. Everyone was on shrooms. Ha ha. Ah. Oh. What was that? Oh, that's part of the music. That was trippy. A te Wait a minute. I was going to call that a telegraph machine. That is not a telegraph machine. We got cables strewn about everywhere. What is? Oh, damn it! Give me a key or a crowbar or something. Okay. Uh. So objective. We want to find a phonograph cylinder for that little devicey thing so that we can hear a message of some sort. Because that used to be a thing. Before records came about, music and uh, voice messages were recorded on wax cylinders like that. And played in this... Hi! Whoa. Where, who are you and where are you going? And should I have a weapon? Why is my first instinct to to bash everyone over the head with the, with the nearest blunt object? Okay, what do we got here? Link elevator has been set up. It can reach both the tower and bottom levels down below the base now. How much, how much of a base is set up here? Looks like I need something to get this elevator to work. How cryptic, thank you. I need a phonograph cylinder and possibly a hand crank for that elevator. Given the way everything looks, I was expecting a handy dandy button. This is reminding me of uh, an episode of Doctor Who. elevator needs a thing. Where do I need to go to get said thing? Should I go back upstairs? Is there miraculously some more stuff available to me? Let's find out. Private rooms. I don't remember being in here. Maybe I was, and I don't remember it. Locked. I would remember that. Hello. 
MC Blake. What do we got? What is that? It's stuck. Is anything not stuck around here? Oh, <gasps> yay! That's what I need for the the elevator thingy. Let's snoop around some more, maybe, if I can. Maybe I can't, but who cares? Okay, what about Dr. Faust's office? Locked. Room, whatever. Did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. Okay, so I'm Frank. This way to the elevatores, I think. Where's the... Ah, this way, yes. Now I know where I'm going-ish. All right. Back downstairs to then, for some reason, go upstairs in a different elevator. This place is weird. So, does this mean that when we go to, no, no, not that. Hmm. So does this mean that uh, we're going to find the phonograph, what's in a fuck it, in the uh, place that we needed for the link elevator? Is link elevator code for something? Why is everything darker than I remember it being? Oh yeah, because they didn't have my flashlight on. Uh, oh boy, do I like tripping myself out. Apparently. What was the need for such security measures? Who cares? I've got the thingy. Looks like I need something to get this elevator to work. Which I have. Oh, it's a glove. For some reason, I thought that was a severed hand. Okay. Select. Uh-huh. Oh, I can really examine it. Yes. Yes, that's a handle. I bet you... What was the need for such security measures? If you stop being such a dumbass and questioning the dumb stuff and realize Looks like I need something to get this elevator. I have to work. it! I think. Watch I need something really stupid like a wheel. Or one that looks exactly like that. Let's try and check outside. I don't know why, but I feel compelled to check outside. Whoa! There's a, a strong wedge I mean, over there. Somehow it reminds me of a lighthouse. Okay. I, I'm guessing we need to get to that uh, link elevator to get up there. Because that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Well, that was a bust. So, looks like I've got to find something in here. But what? Oh, hello. I don't remember going up here. Upstairs. 
Hey. A camera. All right. Fine. Fuck you. Binoculars. Which I can't use. This is Abuat Expedition Base. Pequod, please come in. I repeat, this is Abuat Expedition Base. Pequod, do you hear me? Yeah, <laughs> Pequod. There's someone who can hear me. Please, come in. Some electrical condition in the disturbed air seems to prevent communication. Or, you know, it could just be that it's a heavy windstorm. Because, you know, that shit happens. Alright, search around here some more. There might be some interestings. Yes? No? Ooh. Push a button? Push a button. Man, yeah, fuck you. Uh, push that button. Uh, now, oscilloscope. Ooh. Now push a button. Push a button. Bitch. Oh, I gotta change frequencies. How about that? Now push a button. Hey, there we go. Okay, now the second thingy, I think. Golly, this is trucky. Trucky? There we go. Now it's ready to do a thing. What kind of freakiness are we looking at? Oh my god. It's Robocop. Hello? Dude. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Frank. Frank Gilman. Is that so? Yeah. Is there a problem with that? My name is Frank Gilman. An anthropologist joining this expedition upon the invitation by Venerable Dr. Faust himself. Really? Is this what is happens to me? claiming that it's me. That's absurd. Why? Is it? Also, for some reason, the voice actor reminds me of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for some reason. You are claiming to be me, but you are just a machine. Let's ask the let's ask the important question first. Where is everybody? They are here. What do you mean? Bad. So uh, the the thought that's been running through my mind since the beginning of this is are the is has everyone been turned into like ethereal spirits or something or are they all like him? No. And was that t device on his hand like a time travel thingy? So, let's find out. Let's ask that. I don't see anybody around. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. 
So let's see why he thinks he's me. Because I'm curious. There's... This is Lovecraftian, so there's a million possibilities on this, but I want to know. You're claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman. But you are just a machine. And you are just air. Am I a ghost? What do you mean by that? Air? What do you mean by that? It doesn't answer me. Huh. And why does it have a third eye? What do you know about Dr. Faust? He is the Grand Mastermind and the pioneer of this expedition. Right. Okay, Frank. Tell me why are you here exactly? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. I am one of the canarinals. That ex that explains the uh, pineal eye. Okay. Canarinot. That's an interesting thing. Canarinot? Voyagers beyond. Did they go to space? Beyond? What beyond? No answer. I want to talk to the robot head some more. But, uh, looks like he's run out of time, and, uh, so have I. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next episode. Hope you are too. Anyway, if you liked this episode, let me know by hitting the like button. Leave a comment if you, uh, feel like it. And, uh, if you're new here, take a look around. Maybe there's something that uh, you'll like and uh, want to subscribe for. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully, it'll amaze.